cities have become another popular place for people to stay on a short-term basis when they're far away from home. I've stayed in them. Yeah. You? Oh, yeah. Well, several have popped up in the old North Durham neighborhood over the years, and some residents just don't like that idea at all. CBS 17's Crystal Price is in downtown Durham right now with residents' concerns and getting answers from the city. The character of our neighborhood. We have uh, different housing, th different kinds of people that live here. Mo Rivera has lived on Trinity Avenue for 20 years. We live in a community that's that's tight knit, and we would like to continue being tight knit. But according to this website, recently another home is now an Airbnb, a place where people can stay on a short-term basis. Rivera says that makes five different houses in his neighborhood that have been turned into Airbnbs in recent years. So you see the uh, the revolving door of people. Rivera and other people we talked to say these Airbnbs take away from the neighborly culture they have seen on Trinity Avenue for years. And they don't like the idea of not knowing who is coming and going on a normal basis. It's a, it's a thing about safety. There's people coming in and out. You want to know if that person is actually living there or if they're breaking in. In addition, Rivera said he hates to see these historic homes taken over by rich investors. CBS 17 reached out to the city for answers, but no one was available to speak on camera. They did tell us through email that Airbnbs are allowed in all neighborhoods, and these Airbnbs can be rented out to one family or three unrelated individuals can stay there at a time. But Rivera says these rules aren't strict enough. He says he would like to see the city ban Airbnbs if the owner does not live there. They have to, they have to live there just so they can make sure that everything's on the up and up. In Durham, Crystal Price, CBS 17 News. And Crystal also tells us officials with the city of Durham say state law will not allow them to ban Airbnbs if the owner does not live on the property. They also tell us they've received less than a half a dozen complaints about Airbnbs in just the last three years. Well, Chapel Hill now discussing the future of short-term rentals there, like Airbnbs, at a commission meeting tonight. They're plan talking about plans for a new task force to help with key issues and oversee regulations as short-term rentals continue to rise. That includes health and safety concerns, occupancy tax revenues, and impacts to local businesses. Short-term rentals in Chapel Hill brought in $5 million worth of revenue just last year.